of course, I totally agree that we need some kind of common language to think about and talk about problems in life in general. I think personality disorders is the most complicated or one of the most complicated because we all have a personality. We all have a personality style. We all have problems with our personality from time to time. And so to say that a personality disorder exists, I think on the one hand I can see that that's problematic and then on the other hand I can see also in working with people who have had terrible difficulties related to their personal styles and the way they engage the world um, have a lot of suffering and so I in that way fall in sort of the middle um, with seeing the problem but also seeing how important they are to understand personality from a perspective and um, from that perspective in that personalities can cause suffering. I think that the way that the DSM-4 and previous versions have categorized personality disorders is problematic in that there's so much crossover as far as the symptoms go. It's almost impossible to, I think, in the real world and real clinical situations to um, sort out the categories of personality disorder the way that they're sorted out in the DSM-4, but because it's this book of here's the way these are categorized, it gets categorized in people's minds that, that in a concrete way that this is the way it is. But without giving a lot of um, thought to um, they're very nuanced, they can be subtle and complex and there's a lot of crossover and it can be difficult to put somebody in a category, of, uh, especially the way the categories are laid out. For example, lack of empathy um, and uh, um, acting out or having envy as a predominant component are both um, symptoms described in narcissism, narcissistic personality disorder, and antisocial personality disorder. And that I could go on and on about how there's so much crossover that it's almost at times in the real clinical situation when you're talking to somebody that has a life history and a difficult life history and genetic vulnerabilities um, that it becomes very difficult to categorize them in one particular way which the DSM would have you believe that you can do so that is the problem with it. So it's both and it's not either or it's like you do have to approach every person in a very unique way in understanding genetics and understanding the way they've internalized their relationships and understanding the way they've attached and understanding their environment and trauma and that you approach that very uniquely with every individual but that the personality disorders and the way that we think about them is more of like a compass in the very, very rough seas that you can get into when working with personality disorders because those are the disorders that are based in relationships. And so the therapist is a relationship and so it gets, their problems get enacted again with the relationship with the therapist.